With the advent of cell phones, watches are becoming increasingly obsolete. Most consumers are simplifying their accessories, and watches are often the first to go. But for some people, watches are more than just a means to tell time. They're a status symbol, more subtle than a sports car or a mansion, but no less expensive. Watches represent the confluence of engineering, craftsmanship, and enormous wealth. Today we are counting down the top 10 most expensive watches. This is actually not a single watch, but rather an elegant watch set from Swiss watchmaker Louis Monet. The set of four watches come together to make a full planetarium for the wearer's viewing pleasure. The set is meant for a serious astrological and horological connoisseur. But of course, the watches don't come cheap. They are valued at $4.6 million and were recently sold to an unnamed Chinese collector. Not only do the watches feature an intricate representation of the cosmos, they also have bits of the cosmos themselves. For instance, the Torbjorn Mars dial features a handcrafted fragment of the Jidat al Harasis 479 meteorite, an authentic piece of the planet Mars that fell to Earth. The Jidat al Harasis 479 is probably more than 180 million years old. Because of their rarity, Martian meteorites can sell for as much as US $10,000 per gram, almost 15 times the current price of gold. Other watches include bits of the moon and various celestial bodies that have fallen to Earth. Though its price tag limits potential buyers, this watch is a truly incredible creation. Swiss watchmaker Hublot recently unveiled their next level of excess with the $5 million Big Bang watch, and they've already found a happy home for the exquisite piece. In fact, the watch was a birthday gift. There are very few people who could afford a $5 million watch as a birthday gift, and it turns out both the presenter and recipient are extremely famous. The watch was Beyonce's gift to her husband Jay-Z for his 43rd birthday in 2018. While it may seem extravagant, this gift is actually somewhat lame compared to previous gifts between the power couple, including a Grand Baron Sport, Bombardier Challenger 850, private jet for Jay-Z and a private island in Florida for Beyonce. A handful of times over the past century, the same watch brand has been able to claim rights to building the most complicated timepiece in the world. In September 2015, Vakran Konstantin unveiled the Reference 57260 Pocket Watch, which took a team of three master watchmakers as well as hand and dial specialists eight years to build. Estimated at $8 million, the Reference 57260, named for its 57 complications in Vakran Konstantin's 260th anniversary, was commissioned by a collector in the Americas who wishes to remain anonymous. He challenged Vakran Konstantin Constantine's Atelier Cabinotier's division to create the world's most complicated watch, with some specific functions, including a Hebraic perpetual calendar and an unusual split-seconds chronograph to time multiple events at once. Such technically advanced feats have never been incorporated into a watch before. Approximately 2 inches in diameter and crafted in an 18-carat white gold case that weighs about 2 pounds, the Vacheron watch nearly doubles the previous record for most complications in a timepiece, 33. Inside the gleaming hole reside more than 2,800 tiny mechanical components that make up the all-new movement, which took nearly two of the eight years spent to assemble. All told, the timepiece claimed 10 new patents. This is another exquisite watch with an even more interesting story. On its own, a 1518 is a special watch. It's the first serially produced perpetual calendar chronograph and started a family of watches that would go on to be one of the standard bearers for Patek Philippe for almost a century. The reference was introduced in 1941 and was produced for just 13 years, with approximately 281 total pieces being produced over that time. Most were made in yellow gold or pink gold, with four examples known to exist in steel. The first owner of the watch was King Farouk, the second to last dynastic monarch of Egypt and Sudan. After his passing, the watch was given to King Michael I, then the ruler of Romania. King Michael wore the timepiece for almost a full century until his death at 96. Then the watch was put up for auction where it fetched an impressive $11 million. Jacob & Co. surprised everyone at Baselworld in 2014, unveiling the world's most lavish and intentionally outrageous timepiece, covered in diamonds from head to bottom and also featuring a tourbillon. The one-of-a-kind creation has been named the Jacob & Co. Billionaire Watch, and since it's valued at over $18 million, you'd probably have to be a billionaire to afford it. It was officially the world's most expensive timepiece when it was released, and it was designed by the brand's founder and CEO, Mr. Jacob Arabo, in collaboration with Flavio Briatore's billionaire fashion label, hence the name. This amazing watch actually celebrates the friendship between the jeweler and the famed Italian businessman and former F1 boss. Measuring 58 by 47.5 millimeters, this dazzling skeleton timepiece is rather large, featuring an 18-carat white gold case and bracelet, with 260 carats of emerald-cut diamonds covering virtually every inch of this watch. Apparently, every individual diamond weighs 3 carats, which means this watch will be pretty heavy as well. So who could afford such a mammoth investment? 
The answer is pro boxer Floyd Mayweather. After a series of highly compensated fights, Mayweather's worth is estimated between $700 million and $1 billion, meaning he fully qualifies for this billionaire timepiece. This watch is both stunning aesthetically and serves as an incredible feat of engineering. The Patek Philippe Henry Grave Super Complication is one of the most complicated mechanical pocket watches ever created. The 18 karat gold watch has 24 complications, or features that display something other than time. It was named after banker Henry Graves Jr., who commissioned it out of his desire to outdo the grand complication pocket watch of American automaker James Ward Packard. The two were both at the top of the watch collecting world, regularly commissioning innovative new timepieces. If you're curious what the watch can do other than tell time, the list is long, but it includes Westminster chimes, a perpetual calendar, sunrise and sunset times, and a celestial map of New York as seen from Graves' apartment on Fifth Avenue. In 2014, this watch set the world record for the most expensive watch ever sold at auction. The final price? $24 million, paid by an anonymous bidder through a proxy. The watch broke its own record, set in 1999, when it sold for a whopping $10 million. To put this in perspective, Henry Graves spent 60,000 Swiss francs when he commissioned it in 1925. Adjusting for inflation, the sum is roughly 202,000 US dollars. Chopard is known for making watches that are a cut above the rest. Not only does every timepiece in the company's collection boast superb quality, but each one has a highly unique design that sets it apart from other styles. This is especially true of the 201 karat Chopard watch, a dazzling accessory made in 2000 that brings a whole new meaning to luxury. The watch features three heart-shaped diamonds. The pink diamond weighs 15 carats, the blue weighs 12, and the white weighs 11. They are set in a bracelet encrusted with clusters of white pear-shaped diamonds arranged in flower motifs, with a yellow diamond standing up from the center of each. Total carat weight of the white and yellow diamonds is 163 carats, while the total carat weight of the watch is 201 carats. The watch has a spring-loaded mechanism, which when pressed allows the three heart shapes to mechanically open up, mimicking the petals of a flower. The watch face, pave set with small round yellow diamonds, is exposed from beneath the heart-shaped diamonds. The watch's price tag is $25 million. The Breguet No. 160 Grand Complication, more commonly known as the Marie Antoinette, or the Queen, is a case watch designed by Swiss watchmaker Abraham Louis Breguet. It has been called a poem in clockwork. The watch is thought to have been commissioned in 1783 by Count Hans Oxel von Fersen, an admirer and alleged lover of the French Queen Marie Antoinette. Work on the watch was begun in 1782 and completed by Breguet's son in 1827, four years after Breguet's death. This watch is not only stunning, it's an important part of world history. It took almost 20 years to complete. Marie Antoinette did not live to see the watch, as it was completed 34 years after she was executed. Work stopped for around seven years during the period of Breguet's exile. The Marie Antoinette remained in the possession of the Breguet Company until it was sold to Sir Spencer Brunton in 1887, eventually finding its way into the collection of Breguet experts Sir David Lionel Solomons in the 1920s. On his death in 1925, Solomons bequeathed 57 of his best Breguet pieces, including the Marie Antoinette, to the L.A. Meyer Institute for Islamic Art in Jerusalem. But the story of this amazing timepiece doesn't end there. It was stolen from the museum in 1983 by master thief Naaman Diller, but was recovered in 2007. The watch is currently valued at $30 million. A sibling piece to the world-famous hallucination. The fascination is almost equally as jaw-dropping, and with a price tag of more than $40 million, it's worth almost as much. The watch consists of 152.96 carats of white diamonds, with an exquisitely rare center stone that is a 38-carat flawless pear-shaped diamond, cut and polished by Graf in their workshops. It's this pear-shaped masterpiece that can be worn as a watch dial in a highly architectural diamond bracelet, or it can be taken out and worn as a ring. The bracelet that holds the watch in its center is a masterful work of metallurgy and gem setting. It's no easy feat to create a spectacular diamond bracelet that's also comfortable and convertible. According to Lawrence Graff, founder and chairman of Graff Diamonds, the newest piece is meant to demonstrate the brand's close ties between its London-based diamond house and its Swiss watchmaking atelier. The fascination is an outstanding piece, carefully crafted so it can be worn in a number of different ways, adding a touch of magic to the jewel, says Graff. The only question one really has to wrestle with here is whether to wear it as a watch or as a ring, a tough call with such a high price tag. As of yet, the watch still has not been sold. Graf and his associates are holding out for a patron with a lot of expendable income. In case you have a spare $40 million sitting around, inquiries can be made directly to Graf through his website.
Graff is one of the most highly revered jewelers in the world. Founded in London in 1960 by Lawrence Graff, the company prides itself on designing and constructing each piece of jewelry to exact specifications. By far their most expensive piece is their Hallucination Watch. It comes with an incredible price tag of $55 million. Encrusted with multicolored and rare diamonds, the Hallucination contains 110 carats worth of diamonds, which have been painstakingly inserted one by one by master craftsmen to create this colorful and impressive masterpiece. Graf Luxury House has to be taken seriously after the introduction of this unique and beautiful handmade diamond-encrusted timepiece. The Graf Hallucination was first presented at Basel World, where the public had the chance of seeing it for the first time. Little did they realize that the Hallucination was the most expensive item ever displayed at the exhibition. The design process is extremely intensive. Every unique timepiece begins its journey as a hand-drawn sketch, a vision realized on paper. This is followed by a gouache painting, a time-honored tradition that turns a design into a work of art. Typically, four or five gouache designs are presented to Lawrence Graff so that he may determine which one will be brought to life. It's rumored that Mr. Graff spent several years amassing the stones that were eventually used for the watch. Each stone was chosen individually. He described the hallucination as a sculptural masterpiece in celebration of colored diamonds. He further commented, For many years now, I've thought about creating a remarkable watch that illustrates our all-consuming passion for diamonds, he says. The hallucination watch has made my dream a reality. Mr. Graff was born and bred in London. He started out as an apprentice to a jeweler in Hatton Garden District. Being a mere apprentice did not last long. Very soon he was creating his own jewelry pieces. By the time he was 24, he had already opened two of his own jewelry stores in London. As he traveled the globe, his clientele grew, and so did the demand for more important jewelry pieces. Astoundingly, by the age of 30, he had set up one of the biggest jewelry manufacturing businesses in Britain. In 1973, he became the first jeweler to receive the Queen's Award for Industry and Export. He opened up his flagship store on Bond Street. Today, the company has 45 stores around the globe with corporate offices in London, New York, Geneva, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. To date, he considers the Hallucination Watch his greatest achievement.